This video was made possible through a grant from the Haas Corporation. The Geek Group would like to thank Haas for their continued support in helping encourage innovation in design and manufacturing in America. The Geek Group proudly features ISCAR tooling in all of our workshops, videos, and hackerspaces around the globe. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Iskar Rick. Welcome to the Geek Group. Today's video, Reset. So that's, that's this big button here that I see worn out on a lot of machines. Oh yeah, he gets worn out. Yeah. It's a handy, t <laughs> handy button. So what's it for? It is uh, mainly to uh, reset a program after you've made an edit or a change. Okay. Yep. Um, take me through that. Well, if you were in a program in edit and we wanted to, and we changed something somewhere. Okay. And we've made our, we've made our edit and we're done, and now we want to run the program, reset takes us right back home, memory, and we're ready to go. Cycle start and Cycle off. start and that's it. Also okay. does is send it back to the beginning of the program right what now. What if we're in the middle of a program and you hit that? It goes back to the beginning. So that can get you in trouble. Yeah, yeah. you hit reset in the middle of a program, it will stop. Okay. It won't go, but it'll, just, it'll stop where it's at, reset the program, and the machine will be idle. So you could be in the middle of actually making a cut yes. and it just stops. So exactly. this is something that could be bad. It could be bad, yes. inappropriate. Right. Okay. Um, what other uses for reset are there? Uh, the reset for firing the machine up in the morning. Okay. Yeah, you know, reset Clearing the, out the errors. Yep. And, um, well, that's about it. So, there are times, now, it can be dangerous. Yes. But there's also times when that's actually handy, when you want to just kick out of a program, like if you're running a warm-up or yeah, something. Yeah, if you're running like a warm-up cycle and it's, it's, you know, it's a beautiful summer day and it's 80 degrees, it doesn't need the warm-up time if you come in on a Monday morning and it's 15 degrees outside and it's only 40 degrees in the shop. Okay. You know, so in the summertime, you wouldn't give it as long as a warm-up. So it's halfway through the warm-up cycle, you say, I'm done with this now, and my first, my first tool up is I'm going to run at full RPM. Okay. And, and that'll be fine. Okay. And I've, I've seen the guys in a shop use it for a lot. When they're doing like setup or something, they're sure. like, oh, I'm going to try this thing. No, no, and they'll just reset that is out what, of that. And reset, yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. So that's reset. I'm Chris Bowden. I'm this guy, Rick. As always, we'll see you next time. This video was made possible in part by Mastercam, whose CAD CAM software provides the base to all code generated for Geek Group CNC projects. The Geek Group would like to extend our deepest gratitude to the Gene Haas Foundation for making this program possible. Thanks to their generous contribution, we are able to train and inspire machinists all around the globe. Operating the CNC machines in this video risks personal injury and mechanical damage. Hazards may include electricity, untrained operation, airborne toxins, flying debris and noise, fire and explosions, poor shop upkeep, sharp tooling, projectiles, loose clothing, inadequate clamping, Automatic operation, automatic tool changer, unsupported bar, over tightened steady rest, lack of enclosure, and impact. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.